you know, black folks, and I'm uh, I'm happy to say that Solar Artist is down today, and I show you that in the other video. And I, everything I do is always fact. I live on facts. F A C T always bleed you the fact. Okay. Now, what you want to also, besides a comet, you want to look at maybe an asteroid that's moving through fast too. Now, I don't have any fact on that yet. Okay, but we do have what we're getting here. I'm going to give you the footage and everything. And yes, uh, no, the world's not ending. We see, get these CMEs like this all the time. And factual, this is your dates. Don't pay attention to your dates. I don't have time to read off dates all the time when you can see it. There's a fresh shot. Earth's fine. There's Mercury. Everything's all hunky-dory. There's some fresh shots from out in Navy. You can see the shadow of Venus. Very good. And uh, remember that when you look at certain shots, they're going to be flipped around because they don't like to have you know how to read this stuff. So you always try to come to Vino for the fact. Now you will see massively dramatic changes. I'm going to have a bunch of videos today and you're going to see the propagation that we've been getting from uh, protons and electrons from outer space. And right now the quakes are a little bit slow. I'll be able to give you space weather here. And I'm gonna, I got a video going back through pages, so this is the freshest today. So there's a lot that's going to be a little bit delayed today getting out and getting loaded. And I'll roll through. The, the graphs are a little slow. I mean, basically, it's a little calm right now. We're calming down because basically we're getting the calming effect. Now, we could get a couple more major spikes, but the, the object that we had come by recently, I'll go to space weather. And I'm a little upset at spaceweather.com that they didn't uh, help the protest the CISPA jamming up your pooter hole of, uh, you know, basically they just forcing you to go to a lawyer. And I put it in my, my other video and state that pretty well. It's all a monopoly. They got a major monopoly going on. So we got a bunch of activity from basically this here from the 19th through. And, uh, I'll be able to show you that right here on data. It's just starting to heat back up again. So that's what that mag action that you're seeing real heavy there. And it's just starting to get pink again. And as you see, the pink is not even on the, you know, they need to get a larger uh, spectrum of the degrees. So Right now, we've probably got a hell of a solar angle going on right now, just immediately, currently. You're just not going to see that. I don't have, I'm not going to waste time looking around for that solar angle because you can see enough now that when we're starting to get red, that we're starting to get into a, and then when you get the pinkish down there too, that we're, we've probably got a, a crazy solar angle going on. It's winter time still, but it's not at spring, you see, factually. And so then I'll play this here footage here. I know the world's not ending, everything's fine. We absorbed this, and we absorbed it, and you'll see it in all the data that I put up on the other videos that I'll put up later behind this video and the other video that I play that basically, I just had to show you the propaganda spin. They're spinning you out of control, okay? And no, they can't spin these planets, basically. That's our normal rotations there and everything, and the satellite's moving, okay? Remember, that satellite's always orbiting back and forth to be able to keep its Y formation up there in space. I don't have a map of that right now, but... If you've watched any of my other videos before, I always show you the factual. And I, since I state something, you know, more than likely the next couple videos I do or something, I'm, if I'm showing you the space action, and then this is the factual, the, the freshest we've got of the comet that more than likely, since I'm going to take you to space weather too, and they don't talk about it. So, and I really don't think this is the lemon. It could be related to lemon because the idea that the direction of the lemon eight that's coming around, and you'll see that I got all the factual, actual, and all that stuff on this. And this is your footage from. There's your date and time. And then that is Pluto. Pluto is large, and I have all that nailed down, too. And basically, I'll show you in this video, too. I'll go back to that real fast. Okay, and we'll scoot over here on this footage so you'll realize where Earth's at and everything. We'll go to the date and time and the comet down there, and then up to the right-hand side. And it's not going to harm Earth at all. There's Earth over there. Actual, factual. And this is the freshest footage from the date I showed you there, the 19th. Okay, and then this is everything's cool on the back side. This is the farthest one away, and this is why I'm kind of not, I'm not even going to zoom in on this because there's really not much to show. I could zoom in on Earth there real fast, I guess. Basically, I just popped to 400. Make people realize that we have electrical activity that's always going on with Earth. You see our electrical static. We're not dying off or anything like that. But when it gets calm like this that you're seeing, 
Then you get the factual of we get a big burst from Mama Son says, come here, little kids, come with us, hold on to my hand, stay away from the bad people, okay, you see? So, it's all Mother Nature, it's all physics and astrophysics, and it's very, you know, you study it and you learn a lot of stuff. Uh, here's from Space Weather, I don't really like showing it today because they're not processing, because that's why I'm showing that their site is up, and they're showing you this information. Which is fine, I guess, if you need something to go look at in case the end, the world, end of the world is not coming. So you're never going to get lucky on that. Uh, we will move to something else anyway, too. So that's in the video, too, coming up. Basically, I'll have, I'll have a bunch of videos today, and you really, really should watch them all. And this is we're getting this mag hit from all that, basically, action that you got from the 19th. So, and then we got the absorption, and I'll have all the data on that. So all this is factually happening, and then I'll pop over and we'll get a zoom in and take a look on even on the freshest we got from the 19th. You get a good idea of how huge this comet is, and then also how huge Pluto is. And there's Pluto. And then we can match up. We can go left to right here, and we'll spend probably the most of the rest of the time on the video on here. Because you'll be able to get Saturn, and then our huge object that's magnetical along with this other object that's up here been seeing it for a long time and then if you go to JPL and I'll probably have time to pop the JPL real fast too for anybody that's new here that's the Sun that's Mercury that's Earth this is what we're wanting to know what the hell it is because it's huge and it's up there huge and up there which is basically those two objects there are this and this are these two objects right there and there okay that is that down there and that is that right there okay and then you get Saturn okay you can see Saturn but they don't mark Saturn on here but that is Saturn right there that's Saturn okay and then we got Pluto we get a good look at Pluto and if it's not Pluto then you tell us what it is because you can see the magnetic line no problem you can blow up on size on this and you can see the magnetic line you can even kind of see where my arrow is going you can see the dark little dots that are on the magnetic line that's coming down to Pluto there and then what's good on the mag, you can see everything. You know, sun's over there, Mercury, Earth, Saturn, or a comet. And then you can actually factually Mercury, Earth, Saturn, or comet. And then Pluto is, but then the, there's a supergiant, and I think it's more than likely the combination of Rigel, Cantaris A, and Rigel, Cantaris B, okay? Which Alpha Centauri... BB is a planetoid object that rotates around and it takes a long time. I've done, I'll get the more data on that. I've showed you a lot about it and it's there's a lot of data in the other videos that I have up today. And they will have stuff on Rigel Cantaris BB, which is Alpha Centauri BB. It's Rigel Cantaris B is a star as the sun. Rigel Cantaris A is a star as the sun. And basically, you're probably see, seeing them here, either that or other supergiant star suns that are there. And I've showed you before in the past, you can see all the brightness behind the solar panel. And he, since they're trying to look at the comet here, you get a very good look at what we basically have, supergiant stars and suns up there that are up by Pluto, which Pluto is right there. That is Pluto. And I'll take you to a JPL map real fast. And I think I've pretty much showed you everything I've got had up. Just pop. Now remember I told you about the M-class flare that we've got today, but I really haven't, uh, we don't have it on graphs right now. And this is the freshest data I've got from Boulder. So you had a C before we had that M. But at least I did give you the, the information on the M. So back up. Now remember, two days before April 29th, we're going to have some spike in our earthquake activity. And April 30th, after two days after we'll get some spike there'll be some lulling in between the 29th and the 30th uh, probably about until noon um 12 hours after the 30th well the lull will probably peel away there's going to be interesting between april 29th and 30th what we get for action on the 29th and the 30th in those 48 hours because basically 1.3 kilometer 1.1 kilometer 1.4 so remember, always two days before and two days after, the magnetic approaching, the magnet approaching, magnet to magnet touching, and then that's why we're getting a little bit of a calm effect with the mag that I was showing you earlier in the videos, okay? When you've seen that dark magnetism line, uh, 
basically factual. We get up in here and we look at the, we're getting the hyperbolic and the super giant star action bubbling that you're getting up by. Basically, Uranus should be somewhere out here in the middle of this. So up here should be Neptune, I believe. Uh, this is the other, this is Stereo B. Okay, most of the action that I showed you was from Ace, which is A, Stereo A. Uh, this is Stereo A action that catches the comet. Okay. And H12A, H1A, giving you all the CME action off of the sun. Okay. And then the B side, like I was showing you. I've got a blown. I got Earth blown up here. Now remember, so this is another magnetical planetoid object that we have, and that's not Mercury, folks. That is not Mercury right there. Okay, not Mercury at all. Okay, Mercury should be. I can't guarantee that that's Mercury there, but Mercury should be closer. As you see, they don't have Mercury marked at all on here, and actually, that probably should be Mercury there. To the lower left. And if not, then we have another object. And actually, that's farther back. This object's farther back. So there's plenty of objects. There are massive distances and everything. Uh, let me get the factual that you can go to to help on uh, what we politically problem. That's why they're doing all the propaganda and the spin and everything like that. I'll show you the channels that you can go to. And uh, they, make, they make a donation. And then I uh, give you the information about how to keep uh, Snoopy eyes out of your out of your email and out of your electronic and off of your phone calls because everything that you do on a computer is a phone call. It's going through a phone line, it's data lines, okay? Now some people are wireless and going up to a satellite and so forth. It just depends on what you got going on if you're getting it through your satellite service, your internet service and so forth and so such. Uh, so there's going to be all kinds of, it's going to be law up, lawyer up and basically the factual that uh, let's give you a, a leaving shot of Earth there that everything's all hunky dory. We do have objects around Earth that they're not really letting you know about too much. And then the, that comment that I've been showing you. And then factually get over to my channel and you can go to these links here. And now when you go to my channel, either one of them, you go to my original. And then you also go to the one that I had to put the space in between Beano Black. And basically, I guess, you know. Now I always give you space facts, and then you can see how the Trojans are all over the Internet and in your phone lines. This is all phone line action, ladies and gentlemen. The FCC regulations, I'm always on the telephone talking to you. So basically, you can always give me a telephone call. You can always get on here and look at my videos on the Internet. Whether I end up having to put them at my... you got my links here. You can click on these. The one you can remember me by is the actual factual that I don't... Don't hide the fact that there's CPM and RADS. There's radiation from Fuka Fudge up. Okay, my super giant's main sequence, the uh, radioactive starlight from outer space, the super giants, and nuclear radiation. Okay, I am not pro nuclear. Nuclear in a uh, submarine or military, you know, uh, aircraft carrier uh, ships and so forth and so on. But factually, Vino gives you the facts all the time. I got these links here. They will take you to basically. This here, which basically a nonprofit, and basically you'll be able to take care of your email and a lot with you do different donations, and you can get if you donate more, then you can get super silent on your phone call. Okay, this is all a phone call, and they always need to subpoena you. Now, remember, I'm a consultant. Uh, I am a lawyer. I'm a lawyer for myself. I'm pro se, pro per. Now, you can always go to these here and be able to these links that basically factually are on my channel here you can hit these links all the time they'll always be able to be there uh, I have a contractual uh, I basically have you know what I have done is kept myself no advertising on boob tube here now more than likely one of these days and if they do then I'll just take the advertisement money and put it to my nonprofit so then I got the links for all the volcano action you can watch the webcams on that volcano live over there and then this pretty much sticks in the legal that everybody, I mean, I can be a consultant. There's no problem. I am a consultant. I'm your cons so I can be your consultant and I'm a non-profit organization. And basically, they're ramming this up your ass. And basically, this is all illegal stuff against your constitutional rights. So you just need just you just need your constitutional rights stuck up for. 
And I can do that at those channels. You get a hold of me at those channels, 